Hi there, this is uh, Richard Galvan, Product Manager for Flash Professional here at Adobe. And welcome to the first installment of our Flash Sneaks video series. As I mentioned last week, uh, we're going to focus this week on the multi-target project setup feature. And really, this is a combination of small enhancements to existing features that kind of allow you to work with projects that target multiple devices or multiple screens. So let's see uh, what I'm talking about. Let's go to File New. And for those people who are familiar with Flash Pro, you will notice immediately that our new document window looks a little different. Notice when I select, for example, Action Script 3, that I can make changes to my document width and height, the frame rate, and the background color right here in the same window. We've also elevated the status of a Flash project. So you notice I'm going to select Flash project right here. I can click OK. And it's going to take me to the project panel, which, by the way, is not new, but we've made some enhancements to the project panel as well. In this case, let's go ahead and select the root folder. And I already have a blank uh, folder here on my desktop called Demo. I'm going to click Choose. And notice that now, under the default document name, it's actually creating my default FLA file. So I can choose to have that created or not. But in this case, since, I, since my document or my folder is blank, I'm going to go ahead and create that. And I can set the player target, the script version, and of course, you know, a class template, but let's go ahead and say create project and Flash is now creating the project. Notice that it did create my demo FLA file, but it also created another file called author time shared assets FLA. Now this file is used by the project to help you share assets across these different files that you might be working with. Now I'm going to show you that feature in action next week as a separate sneak. So for right now I'm going to focus more on the improvements around the project panel and the new document window. All right, so let's assume I'm going to create a new document here. So on top of the demo.fla file, I'm going to create a new version and let's just call this demo underscore galaxy. Now I'm going to call it galaxy because maybe I want to create it to actually be deployed on a galaxy tab. So I click create file and it created my file. Now, the first thing I notice is that the screen resolution here, the, the document size, is a little wrong. So the Galaxy Tab's resolution is 600 by 1024. Um, but I can see it very quickly because one of the improvements we've made to the property inspector is you can see now, for example, the screen size, the frame rate, and the stage color right here in the PI, as well as other settings like player target and the script version. So I can very quickly go in here and make changes 600 by 1024 and now I've made my change to my document. I'm going to go ahead and save this. As you can see I can also change for example if I want to target any other platform like Air for iOS, Air 2.6. So I can make a lot of the changes right here in the PI very quickly without having to go into other windows. So as you can see the small improvements like improvements in the new document panel, improvements to the actual project panel, and improvements in the PI enhance the way you can actually work with projects or create projects that target multiple devices and multiple screens. So it's a small sneak of sort of some of these capabilities. Uh, next week we'll show you a little bit about this other feature that's part of this workflow, which is the shared assets feature. Until then, stay tuned and uh, thanks for joining us.